The next match is brought to you by Ice Taps and Grill, and the bout will be a mixed martial arts fight with two five-minute rounds. And in the blue corner, from the Canadian Combat Club in Edson, Alberta, weighing in at 139 pounds, Dylan Walton. Oh, this is a club out of Edson, Alberta. We've had him down before for other fight cards, Lee. Yeah, they got a good group of up-and-coming fighters. They're all uh, relatively new to the MMA scene. But, uh, yeah, very, very good uh, game fighters are willing to get in there and mix it up, which makes it exciting for everybody. And in the red corner, from Green China's BJJ, weighing in at 143 pounds, Sean Quinn. Well, Sean Jeff uh, trains under Jeff Wiley, a uh, well-known Canadian-Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. I can expect uh, this to go to the ground. Yeah, I would imagine the same thing. Again, we've never seen Sean fight, but uh, definitely with uh, training with Jeff, he's gonna, he should know what he's doing on the ground. Uh, just very accomplished uh, BGJ practitioner, and he's very exciting to watch uh, in his own right. Uh, my name's Sean Quinn. My strategy, ground and pound. Take him down, beat the smack out of him. Uh, Dylan Walton, and I'm um, trying to keep it stand up. I know he's a jiu-jitsu fighter, so uh, I'm trying not to go down. If I go down, I got my ground game too, so uh, I'm going all around further. 140 pound weight class, these guys seem to have all the gas in the world. Yeah, just about ready to get started. These two guys, I think, should come out banging, and uh, again, I think look for the takedown. Um, we'll see what happens. Good touch of gloves. Good sportsmanship with that. And like we thought, he'd have to take that right into guard pass immediately. Yeah, Dylan's working the choke, um, and Sean is trying to pass. He's now in half guard. He's got to pass half guard and get his neck out of there. He's striking, trying to release it. Good elbows to the thighs. Push the arm down. Dylan should look to uh, reverse. He's got the head trapped. He should look to sweep him and roll him over. And get on top. Pin him up against Cage now. Sean's working hard. Little ground and pound, clearing the face away with the elbow for him. And a strike from the top. He's still in half guard. Dylan needs to work to get full guard or get up. There's a good transition from uh, Sean to take the back. He's got the hooks in. And now lock the choke in to see if he can finish it here. Banding him, got a full body. No. He's using arm control there, he's looking to strike. Still maintaining position, which is good, good body control. And again, Dylan needs to unhook the legs and turn himself. He's doing a good job though defending, he's trapping the arms and defending the strikes. He's still in there. Sean trying to lock that choke in again. Stand in tight. And there's the tap. Very good pressure from uh, Sean with that rear choke, extending his body really well to put the pressure on. You never know what to expect for your first fight. Uh, you train hard, you don't know what's going to happen, but you get in there and mix it up and. Uh, and see where it goes and so it's a great learning opportunity for each of these fighters win or lose to see what they need to work on and see where their skills are based on fighting other people that are uh, you know new to the sport and so it makes for exciting for uh, both teams to learn and some quick highlights here Sean with the takedown on Dylan immediately passes the guard and here he's got his back with the body control and setting up the triangle, uh, the rear naked choke, and there's the tap out there. Nice finish. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. The winner by tap out at 217 in the first round. In the red corner, Sean Quinn.
JJ tapped him out. He had the, definitely the superior ground game today. Exactly what we expect from somebody with uh, from Jeff's gym. 